Around the Northwest, things are heating up between Starbucks and their Seattle employees. Jackie Kent reports. And we fight! We win. We are really fighting to come to the bargaining table and regardless of what Starbucks is advertising, they are not true to their word. It's a heated back and forth between Starbucks employees and the coffee giant's corporate offices. Hundreds of workers across Washington held signs and chanted outside unionized stores alleging they are overworked and underpaid. I actually don't live in the city because I cannot afford to live in the city. Lou Epstein loves the camaraderie and whipping up drink orders on university, but claims it doesn't pay the bills. Many of us have two to three jobs in order to afford cost of living here in Seattle. Bruce Halstead from the flagship store says in contract negotiations, they're pushing for $25 an hour to start for all employees in Seattle, including entry level staff. They hope a pay bump can help attract more great workers who want to make Starbucks their career. We are so understaffed that we, like a single barista, is doing the work of three people, and it is extremely unsafe. Wait times get up to 45 minutes to an hour. Starbucks, in an emailed statement, writes in part that the Workers United Union has not agreed to meet to progress contract bargaining in more than five months. And they will try to schedule a bargaining session about one to two days in advance. Starbucks in a statement says it has improved its scheduling process, letting workers know a few weeks in advance what their schedule is. Is that enough? It is not enough. Starbucks recently announced that starting next year, it will be offering a 3% raise for hourly employees, among other benefits. For now, reporting in Seattle, Jackie Kent, Como News.